Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I will be sharing some easy Dollar Tree DIYs for Valentine's Day. And I will also show Valentine's Day tablescape. So if you are the host this year, these ideas might inspire you, I hope. So if you're interested in, keep on watching. First DIY is my Valentine's Day read. Everything I used here is from Dollar Tree. For this project, you need a read form, two bouquet of hearts, two ribbons, an LED light string with hearts. You also need scissors and a glue gun. At first, I decided where my heart bouquet will be on my read. Also, I decided not to cut any of the stems. Then I started to wrap my ribbon around my wreath. I didn't glue in every time when I wrapped, but in the beginning I glued because I wanted to keep it in place. I didn't count, but pretty much in every five wrap, I used some hot glue. While wrapping my ribbon around my wreath, when I came close to the heart bouquet, I just put my ribbon underneath the bouquet and kept wrapping. Since I'm using low heat glue gun, I'm just pressing on the ribbon gently whenever I glue. And I'm also making sure whenever I wrap, I'm making sure my ribbon is pretty tight. If you want, you can use your wreath like this, but I'm going to use LED lights with the hearts. If you're going to use these LED light string, I recommend you to tighten the hearts because they keep falling. But they're so cute. I wasn't so sure if I wanted to keep LED light strings, so I used some scotch tape to keep them in place, but you can go ahead and use hot glue. I want to show my wreath to you with lights and without lights. So which one did you like? I decided to use it with lights. I really like it, especially when I put it outside. Okay, let's move on to the next project. I want to arrange the table with the things I already have at home and I will be sharing you a few more Dollar Tree DIYs along the way. A 
But first I'm going to use a table runner that I purchased from Target and I purchased this table runner after Christmas clearance. If you wonder what else I purchased from after Christmas clearance, you can also check that video out too. I will be putting the link down below. Although this is Christmas related item, no one has to know that because it's pretty much uh, white at the top. And then I'm going to put these candle holders from Target that I purchased from after Christmas clearance, of course. They were like $5, I believe, if I don't remember wrong. And I'm going to add candles from Dollar Tree. And this package includes six candles inside. And they are not so long, so I don't need to feel so scared. Long candles scare me, kind of, so I prefer to use a little bit shorter. And then I'm going to use another candle holder from Dollar Tree, this gold one. This is my favorite, also has a silver version too. And I am going to use this candle from Dollar Tree. I also heard that this candle is a due for very expensive candle. It's called Capri Blue Volcano that you can find in Anthropology. I never, I never smelled that one, but this one smells so good. So people are saying it's exactly the same smell. So you can check that out in Dollar Tree. You don't need much for this DIY. You only need a candle and and the ribbon and this ribbon is from Dollar Tree of course this is so cute it has an arrow and a heart on it and I'm just going to make a simple bow over here and I'm making another bow I only made two bows so I'm just going to glue those two bow on each side of the candle if you want, you can add two more on the other side. I just wanted to keep it simple and chic. I wanted to change the look of my table runner for Valentine's Day, but I didn't want to also damage it. And all I did here was I just cut some ribbon and I just tucked under the table runner and that's it i didn't glue because i'm going to use this table runner after valentine's day too so i just didn't think it was necessary and i did the same thing for the other side too i don't remember where i purchased this placemat and napkin set but this is new and i probably purchased it from a clearance so that's the time to use them I didn't have any napkin holder for this team, but that doesn't stop me. And if you don't have one, you can just go to Dollar Tree and grab any of the ribbons and you're just gonna make a simple bow around the napkin. After you make your bow, you can also attach your utensils to your napkin. Simple and easy! And next up, I added these foam stickers that I got from Dollar Tree. These are so cute, you can do many things with them. And I'm going to use these foam stickers as a table scatter. And if you don't want to do that, Dollar Tree also sells table scatters as heart shapes. I think every Valentine's Day dinner table should have some roses. I got these roses from Dollar Tree. They're not the best quality, but they're going to work. But I didn't want to use these roses with their stems, so I'm just pulling them off. They are easily removable. You can easily remove them. I removed every rose from their stems and also the leaves, and I'm going to glue those leaves under the roses just like this and after I glued each leaves to each roses I'm just going to put them around the table that's it 
simple and easy again. And this is my final step. I just wanted to have something cute and I find small decorations cute usually. So I just wanted to add these little bottles to the table. But let me show you how I did them. This is again so simple and easy. I got these little bottles from Value Village and they were like each of them 50 cents so they're like a dollar here and you can also find this kind of bottle from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree sells small bottles similar to this and they have seashells inside them. I don't know if you ever saw them in Dollar Tree but I saw in my Dollar Tree so you can definitely use that one too if you want. For this project I used foam stickers and I used some candy. And I just stick these foam stickers on four sides of these two bottles. These candies are from after Christmas colorings. I stocked a lot of candies after Christmas because chocolate is chocolate. And voila! This is my Valentine's Day dinner table. We are a family of two, my husband and I. So I just put two plates. So I have a question. Which one was your favorite DIY in this video? Please comment down below. I hope I could inspire you a little bit. So if you like this video, please don't forget to give thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would really like you to be my savvy friend. So thanks again. See you next time.